What's going on? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. We've got some iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta news to start things off. And you know, I think I've complained and cried enough about how Apple still isn't showing us that they are taking the iPad Pro seriously compared to all the hardware inside of it. But a new change in the second beta of iOS and iPadOS 15 may finally give us the pro level apps that we deserve. Now, if you aren't familiar, currently there's a limitation for how much RAM an app can use, no matter how much is available on the device. Apple has limited that to five gigs, even if the top tier iPad Pro has 16 gigs of RAM. So apps can't even access half of the RAM on the iPad Pro. Now I've had several developers just laugh at that limitation or say it's ridiculous. Well, that looks to potentially change because in the second betas of iOS and iPadOS 15 that were recently released to developers, Apple is now allowing developers a new entitlement to request that their apps gain access to more memory. Now this entitlement will tell iOS that an app may perform better by exceeding the default memory limit. Apple has not specified how much more RAM will be made available. And it also says the feature will be limited to supported devices. So we don't know which devices will qualify, but the one terabyte storage option or higher on iPad Pros have the most RAM at 16 gigs amongst all of Apple's mobile devices. And many users know What's really limiting the iPad Pro? It's not the hardware, it's iPad OS. Even making eight gigs of RAM available would be significant to potentially open up the doors for higher end professional apps on the iPad Pro because I've used an M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch with just eight gigs of RAM and it was able to scream through exports and edit 4K videos. So we know that the potential is there and the M1 is always the centerpiece of all this, but Apple gave us a display on par with the Pro Display XDR and then Thunderbolt on this iPad Pro Right now, for me, it just feels like an iPad Pro with an improved screen, and I honestly use it exactly the same as I always have. Let's be honest here, I'm just tired of hoping Apple is gonna do anything real with the Pro apps because I've been waiting for six years for that to happen since the very first one, but this change could finally open the door for the iPad Pro apps that we deserve, and I will wanna use the keyword is could. Now the iOS 15 beta 2 also brings a few new tweaks and these are only available as developer betas right now. Apple will be releasing the public beta sometime in July, but there's been no official firm date yet. Apple Maps gets a new icon with the 280 shield removed. That's a popular highway in the Bay Area where Apple campus is directly off of. Then in the second iPad OS 15 beta, that allows users to swipe from the bottom right of an iPad to access the quick note toggle using a finger because in the first beta you could only use a pencil. And if you're a big Momoji fan, you're gonna probably love them even more now because you got new outfits that are now available to allow you to customize them by style and color for your Momoji stickers. This is very important. Now, SharePlay has finally been enabled in iOS 15 for the second beta. And I made it clear that I'm not a fan of holding your phone while watching content on a TV with someone else. But the SharePlay API is pretty broad and many apps will be able to use it. So. I'm curious to see how it can evolve beyond the basic content sharing that Apple first showed off as developers get their hands on it. Now I do wanna see how SharePlay fits into my life and how I use it with people once all my regular friends have it and we can kind of play around it normally. So, you know, I am curious about it. And maybe it becomes a regular part of how I use my devices, maybe. All right, let's take a moment for our sponsor, NordVPN. If you wanna protect yourself online, you've got to use NordVPN. So many of us are streaming video every day and NordVPN unlocks content on your favorite apps like Netflix, YouTube, and your favorite sites from their over 5,000 servers in 59 countries to watch region exclusive content. NordVPN supports up to six different devices. There's double data encryption for increased anonymity that shields your online activity and it's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. There's even an extension for your Chrome browser. Now it's been confirmed by speed tests, NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. You can connect easily with one click or enable auto connect for zero click protection. It's been recommended as the best VPN by multiple sites and was an editor's choice earning all the green checks on PC Mag. Now if you're a gamer and a game isn't available in your country, you can change your virtual location to buy the games you want. You can game securely and avoid DDoS attacks that significantly slow down your connection and block malware ridden websites. Go to nordvpn.com slash Tong or use code Tong to get a two-year plan for 73% off plus four months for free. Protect yourself online today with NordVPN. Okay, back to the latest stories and I really hope you got a chance to check out my first look 
at the grand opening of Apple's new Tower Theater store in downtown Los Angeles. I put a video out and it's this gorgeous store and really one of a kind that you gotta visit if you're in town and it's truly impressive. But what about something maybe not as impressive? The reactions users are having to iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 are lukewarm initially to say the least. According to a new survey from trade-in website Cell Cell that gathered 3,000 respondents from iPhone and iPad users evenly split between men and women ages 18 or older in the US, over 50% of respondents said that iOS and iPadOS updates are only slightly or not at all exciting. 28% rated the updates somewhat exciting. So if you add that up, about 78% of respondents are less than excited about iOS 15 and iPadOS 15, and that is not a good sign. After watching the keynote, that was really the same sense that I got from everyone who was watching along as well. I mean, it's solid, it's good, but not great, and nothing at least stands out right now that's gonna make a significant difference. Now, 19% of respondents said that they were extremely or very excited. Maybe that changes once we get our hands on the final release, and I think Apple hopes it does as well. But the survey also asked people about what Apple should name the next iPhone in the lineup. Most people did not want to call it the iPhone 13 with maybe the number possibly signaling bad luck. 38% said to simply call it iPhone, and 13% want it to be called the 12S. Only 26% said it should still be called the iPhone 13. I do know that 100% of Apple employees are taking 0% of this survey into consideration. Now the iPhone 12 mini has ended production earlier than expected due to lower demand according to the Taiwanese research group Trendforce. They claim production has already ended with the iPhone 12 mini reaching its end of life ahead of time. Now we know Apple will still sell through its existing inventory which is currently available on their website, but we are expecting to see an iPhone 13 mini this year as well, but reports claim that the 5.4 inch iPhone will be discontinued by Apple in 2022. And we talked about them last week, but the Beats Studio Buds, they are now available in shipping, so you can get your hands on the new wireless and C earbuds that already look to be a better solution than the current AirPods second generation. And they're also $10 cheaper at $149.99 compared to the AirPods at $159.99, which Apple is planning to update later this year. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell, ding, to get all my videos when they drop. And if you want more of that Apple goodness, you can check out my Apple Bits XL audio podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and new ones every week with special guests. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care and be safe. Peace.